Hello everyone, this is Patak and you are watching my channel. So today I will talk about vitamin C. In my last video I talked about vitamin B12. So the vitamin B complex series is over. So now I will talk about the vitamin C. And I will talk about vitamin D, E and K in my next videos. Before starting off with this particular presentation, I would like to tell you that please follow my account which is on Instagram and the Instagram handle is given on the slide which is healthcare for you forever you can also subscribe my channel please don't forget to like and subscribe so let's get started with this particular presentation on vitamin c so what is basically vitamin c vitamin c is known as ascorbic acid it is also known as ascorbate it's a water soluble vitamin just like vitamin b it's a natural antioxidant vitamin c plays a key role in scavenging free radicals from the body and thereby takes part in reducing the damage from inflammation and oxidation and hence is a key component for fighting a multitude of pathological conditions and infections vitamin c is an absolute requirement when it comes to wound healing and collagen synthesis vitamin c and supplements significantly reduce the risk of cancer and cardiac and respiratory diseases vitamin c rich food also plays a crucial role in producing collagen a protein found in bones tissues and blood vessels so vitamin b has various roles as you can see in the slide that it helps in improving the immune system it helps in fighting the pathological conditions then it also reduces the risk of cancer heart diseases and respiratory diseases it also helps in producing collagen which is very much essential for your tissues skin and bones okay so vitamin c has a lot of functions now let's move on to the next slide to talk about the vitamin c structure so this is the structure of vitamin C. You can see there is an alcohol group, there is a keto group, okay, and you can see um, then alkene group also, okay. So this is the structure of vitamin C. Now I'll talk about the various sources of vitamin C. So various sources of vitamin C are as follows: orange, lemon, strawberries, guava, grapefruit. So, all the citrus fruits contain vitamin C. Okay, so you will never have, uh, you know, any deficiency in vitamin C if you take in all of these citrus fruits because these are very essential for your skin, for your um, bones, and for your tissues, and for your immune system. So, this is very important. So, you can take all of these fruits to, you know, enhance your vitamin C levels. So let's move on to the next slide to talk about the benefits of vitamin C. The benefits of vitamin C are as follows. Maintains healthy skin. It is important for eye health. It cures common cold. It prevents cardiovascular disease. And it prevents cancer and stroke. Okay. So these are the benefits of vitamin C. Now what are the deficiencies of vitamin C? So uh, the deficiency of the vitamin C is basically scurvy. It is a condition which uh, leads to a lot of symptoms like it leads to low immunity, bleeding gums, rough skin, fatigue, tiredness and all of the stuff. So scurvy is a name which is given to a condition which happens due to deficiency of vitamin C. And the most common symptom for that uh, scurvy is bleeding of gums. Okay, And then comes the low immunity and rough skin. So this was all about vitamin C. I hope you really like this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. And thank you so much for watching this. So keep watching my channel. Keep watching my all of my videos. I will be really very grateful. Thank you so much. Bye bye. Stay safe and healthy.